here are the top four reasons not to vote for Ron Paul. Number four, Ron Paul is far too concerned about the debt. Doesn't he realize that's what we have the printing presses for? I mean, just look back at 1920s Germany. We have all the money we could ever want at the touch of a button. So this cutting spending stuff, it's completely unnecessary and it's absolutely crazy. Number three, Ron Paul knows nothing about health care. Yes, I know he's been a doctor for 50 years. I know he's delivered 4,000 babies. And I know he's run his own practice for 25 years, but how much can you possibly know after all that? These are decisions we need to leave to career politicians, people like Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, and Barack Obama. I mean, just look at how successful they've been already. Number two, Ron Paul wants to end all the foreign wars we're in. Doesn't he realize that these wars are great for our country? Because first off, we can finance them indefinitely. We got the printing presses. And we don't need to listen to our troops on the ground over in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yes, I know they've donated more money to Ron Paul than they have all the other GOP candidates combined. But again, this is a decision we need to leave to career politicians. They know how to handle these situations best. And the number one reason not to vote for Ron Paul for president, he's too consistent. This is America. The president needs to be a master at flip-flopping on the issues smoothly, discreetly, appealing to the masses. I mean, being president is not about being consistent. It's not about having conviction. It's really not even about telling the truth. It's about telling people what they want to hear. So if you agree with my reasons, please vote for Barack Obama, Mitt Romney, or Newt Gingrich. But if anything I said sounded kind of fishy, you might want to vote for Ron Paul.